my friend Benny uh, Sleisinger write, writes in, thank you so much for all the info. Love the pod, sorry, love the podcast and all your writings. I had a question about conditioning with easy strain. I love that I'm getting stronger consistently over time and would love to know your thoughts on improving conditioning at the same time. I don't want to overreach with extra work and compromise strength gains you know, and, and being counterproductive. Oh, yeah. So the idea behind easy strength is that the weight workout takes 15 minutes. And the rest of the time, you go do the, well, for example, the Highland Gamer. Um, when I was doing as a discus thrower Highland Gamer, my workouts were 15 minutes. And then I would do the throwing drills. I would do the farmer walks. I would do all that other stuff. So what easy strength is trying to do is simply work on one quality, strength. Get stronger. All the other time and effort you have is the field of play stuff. Uh, you said conditioning. I don't know what that means in your case. But if you did easy strength and then went on a cross-country ski, uh, 10K, uh, you, would, uh, you would be getting all the work in that you need. Uh, so whatever you mean by conditioning, and if it's just general, I mean, I would suggest rollerblading, cross-country skiing, swimming, bicycle, uh, have a real mix of conditioning, uh, walk, uh, walking, rucking, uh, taking, putting weights in your hands and doing Leonard Schwartz's, uh, heavy hands have a real mix of conditioning tools. Um, I was lucky when I was doing easy strength because someone had reminded me of the book heavy hands. And I, when I was doing the one winter, especially I was doing about a, well, the weight workouts didn't even take me 15 minutes. I mean, five exercises for two sets. I could knock it down in 10. But uh, then I would go do a heavy hand walk with these three-pound dumbbells I had in just one loop. So that would be about uh, around our old park there. Let's just say a mile. So I don't know how long that mile would take, but I would be done with a strength workout and a kind of conditioning workout in about half an hour basically the amount of time it would take for the slow cooker to get to the right temperature to add the next round of things. So I was making dinner while I was getting the workouts in. To me, that's the key. Um, again, when someone says something like this, uh, uh, the word conditioning in one of the questions, it's always going to be hard for me to understand. Uh, it's like the old joke we say about, you know, since I'm in religious studies, when I'm at parties, people ask me a lot about diets and exercise. Sure. But I'll get that whole, um, I'm very spiritual question. And I've learned, you have to have that follow-up. What do you mean by that? Um, because it usually doesn't mean I just, you know, I want to spend 42 years, you know, meditating on a mountaintop. Usually it's I check my horoscope every day, which isn't necessarily, necessarily a high level of spirituality. Um, so when someone says conditioning, uh, I always have to hear, what do you mean by it? Uh, honestly, if you're in your 60s, uh, you do the 15-minute easy strength workout, and then you you put in a, a book on tape of a book that you've never heard before, and you walk for three chapters. That, to me, and, and as you're walking down the street, you know, step on and off the curbs, do some, anytime there's a straight line, try to walk on it, uh, maybe every, catch a ball in one hand or two hands, and you know, give yourself a lot of sensory uh, stuff. Um, that would be great conditioning post 60 years of age. But in your case, you might be getting ready for, you know, the, the Ironman, the double triathlon, you know, double, you know, we run 52 miles. I just need to know what you mean by conditioning. I thought that was an excellent question. Okay.